I'm in a different kitchen today and it's at altitude. So I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but we're gonna give it a try. So this recipe calls for orzo. They didn't have any at Trader Joe's, so I got this. It's got orzo, it's got rice, it's gonna be fine. I probably should have got two boxes, but that's okay. For some cheese, putting that right in the middle. And then we need some sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, I, I traveled four hours with this giant jar of sun-dried tomatoes. Why didn't I put some in another jar? I, I don't know. I'm gonna do this, this, this. I, I really like sun-dried tomatoes, so you don't have to put that much if you don't want to. And we need broth, but I, I also brought my own bouillon, so I'm gonna do bouillon, and add water, and garlic, bloop. I traveled with my own garlic too. <laughs> A little bit of red pepper flake, not too spicy, she requested, not too spicy. Some oregano. Okay. And here we go. A little bit of salt. That's it. Just stir that, stir that bouillon around right there and pop it in the oven. Okay, let's see. Oh, Steam City. We gotta stir that. Oh my gosh, it looks so good and it smells so, so good. Oh my gosh. You know what this means? It will, it will wilt right into it. It will just turn into literally nothing. And it's amazing. I'm gonna eat out of the pot. Oh, I also brought my my own pot with me. So supposedly you're supposed to add Parmesan to the top of this, but it does not need any Parmesan. This is perfect. You definitely should make it 